Okay, so we came here to shoot butterflies and what has happened is we have slowly had the opportunity to photograph other insects like a giant fighting beetle, which almost killed me. So if I put in my hand, would he hurt me? Only if it gets aggravated. How do and I aggravate him? Like by, to by a strobe? By pulling him off. <laughs> he can't bite? No. Oh, he's hard. Well, how do we get him off? Wait, stop. Not it's too late. It's too late. All right, I gotta turn the flash yeah, off. Will you turn this off? I'm trying to do. Okay. Oh yeah, thank you. Why does that look like he is? Oh, he's sucking on me. He is. It's just a little terrifying, that's all. It's talking to me. In the midst of this terror, I was setting up my camera for a macro shot, dialing in an aperture of F11 to make sure I got that moment. What? Oh! <laughs> <sighs> All right, let's strobe it. Clear strobe down to really illuminate the skin. Here we go, let's come this way. Let's face on. I was gonna try to wrangle him that way. Looking for unusual details can really improve your shots, like textures, shapes, or in this case, a claw. Oh my God, look at that claw. I got that claw. I wanna see what the bottom looks like. The bottom? Oh yeah, look at that. Flip in your angle or your bug can often get you completely new shots. Got some good catch light with that strobe. Ah, oh, look at this back. Beautiful. Switching lighting sources from natural lighting to a strobe in this instance can really help any subject pop. And then this guy, this girl, excuse me, but this girl is exactly like a stick, but she's doing yoga and she's allowing us to, to position her. I'm actually posing her. Wow, I'm posing her, oh my God. So she's letting me pose her, which is fantastic. It's like photographing a newborn. Let's see if we can do this. What do you say? You into it? Maybe kick this one back a little bit? Just very gently. Whenever I'm posing a subject while holding my gear, I need to make sure I'm either stabilizing the camera or holding it very steady. Okay, you wanna maybe grip on? Okay, good, excellent. Who work. I have such respect for this creature. Look at this. This shot down here, though. All right. Can we get a little strobe over here? This is such a cool shot. Hold on. Get a little front lighting. Look at that shot. She's an amazing poser. She's doing a back bend. <laughs> I like the backdrop. It's like a purple backdrop. <laughs> I love these colors together. And this shot proves that you can find a great background anywhere. If you didn't know any better, you wouldn't know that this is a t-shirt. I love the composition in this shot, how it's all in a diagonal, and we've got it going in thirds the whole way through. The claws at a third, the greens at a third, and that bokeh is that final third. Thank you to the Museum of Life and Science in Durham. This shoot proves that if you can step out of your comfort zone, even just a little, you can get better shots than you'd ever planned on.